hello everyone how to solve this nice algebraic uh, equation so we have x square minus 4 equals to x plus 4 square root we solve this equation for the values of x if our x is greater than or equals to 2 so here first we need to remove this radical sign in the right hand side so that we need to take the squares on both of the sides so we write it as x square minus 4 whole square equals to square root of x plus 4 whole square so now uh, you see here in the right hand side this 2 and square root are cancelled by each other and in the left hand side we apply the nice square identity so according to this identity we write this uh, expression as x square and its whole square plus 4 square minus 2 times of x square into 4 is equals to x plus 4 okay so further uh, we have uh, we write this uh, equation as x to the power of 4 plus this 4 square equals to 16 minus 2 times of 4 becomes 8 into x square and here we move this x plus 4 in the left hand side and we get minus x minus 4 equals to 0. So now uh, after that here uh, we need uh, some simplifications. Uh, so uh, we we just write this uh, 4 square as in this form 4 square and we do not convert this into the 16 okay so now here again uh, we write this uh, 8 as in this form 2 into 4 into x square okay because here we need a little bit uh, substitution so that now we uh, we take here uh, over this 4 equals to y and y square equals to 4 square we just replace uh, all the 4s equals to y and 4 square equals to y square in this equation so that our above equation is written as x to the power of 4 plus y square here you substitute 4 equals y it will becomes y square and this will be written as 2 times of y into x square and here this is written as minus x minus y equals to 0. So now in the next step here we rearrange this uh, 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 this equation in terms of y so it will be written as y square and after that here we need to take common y from these two terms and the remaining terms are plus y into minus 2x square and here we take common minus sign as well so you get plus 2x square plus 1 and the remaining terms are x to the power of 4 minus x is equals to 0. So now further uh, you see here uh, this equation will become a quadratic in y variable so that now we apply the quadratic formula so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 and b equals to minus into 2x square plus 1 and c equals to x to the power of 4 minus x. So further uh, you see here uh, we just apply the quadratic formula and now we have a quadratic formula is written as y equals minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the above values of a, b and c in this formula. So uh, this equation is written as y equals to minus b and the value of b is minus 2 into uh, this is minus 2x square plus 1 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus into 2x square plus 1 whole square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is uh, 
x to the power of 4 minus x okay uh, so this is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 so uh, now we need more simplification and it will be written as this is minus times of minus becomes plus and uh, we write it as 2x square plus 1 and plus minus square root of here we know that the square of negative term become positive and uh, here we apply this square on both of these terms and it will be written as 4x power 4 plus 1 and plus 4 times of x square so this is written as minus 4 times of uh, x to the power of uh, 4 because this is x4 uh, minus x we multiply this minus 4 on both of these terms and it will be written as minus 4x4 and plus 4x and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. So further here we need uh, to add or subtract the like terms and uh, we have 2x square plus 1 plus minus square root of this is negative 4x4 and uh, this these are cancelled by each other and the remaining terms are 4x square plus 4x plus 1 divided by 2 so uh, after this step we have this is 2x square plus 1 plus minus when you combine all of these terms then we write this as 2x plus 1 whole square and its whole square root and it is divided by 2. So further uh, you see here uh, these 2 and square root are cancelled by each other and we get 2x square plus 1 plus minus here we have this is 2x plus 1 and it is divided by 2 so this is the value of y. So further, uh, we have uh, here we need to break this equation and we write it as y equals 2x square plus 1 and plus 2x plus 1 divided by 2 and the remaining term are 2x square plus 1 and here we need to uh, multiply, uh, here we write first the uh, negative term as it is so you have 2x plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, we break this positive. We break this positive and negative term and we write the positive term here and negative term here okay so uh, now we focus on these two terms and we write it as y equals 2x square plus 2x plus 2 divided by 2 and here we get 2x square plus 1 minus 2x minus 1 divided by 2 this these two are cancelled by each other and we get y equals here we take common 2 from the numerator side and the remaining terms are x square plus x plus 1 and here uh, when you take common 2 then you get x square minus x so now the time to uh, back substitute the value of y and in the start of the problem we will take here y equals 4 so we write these two values uh, in this form y equals x square plus x plus 1 and here you have y equals x square minus x so now we put this value here and you get 4 equals x square plus x plus 1 and here you get 4 equals x square minus x so now uh, after this step uh, here we need to rearrange the terms and we write it as x square plus x and we move this plus 4 in the right hand side and we get 1 minus 4 equals to 0. Similarly in this case we get x square minus x minus 4 equals to 0. So here we get x square plus x minus 3 equals to 0. And here you have x square minus x minus 4 equals to 0. So now you see here uh, these two equations are quadratic equation and now again you apply the quadratic formula on both of these equations and you get the solution of uh, uh, this term. Now you get the solution of this term is x equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of 13 divided by 2 and uh, you clearly see here uh, this value is uh, this x is greater than or equals to 2 and similarly in this case if you apply the quadratic formula and you get its roots r1 plus minus 
square root of 17 divided by 2 so in that case you cannot get the value of x is greater than or equals to 2 so that uh, we rejected uh, these solutions and we have only these are the values of x okay so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos